Welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight is the night I'm finally cooking chicken piccata. I've cooked it several times and I think I have finally perfected this recipe. Now I serve my chicken piccata with um, angel hair pasta and the cheapest <laughs> um, spaghetti sauce you can find, which is usually the canned hunts. I cook the chicken piccata, but then I serve it with spaghetti. What do we need tonight? We need some chicken breast. Oh, I don't have the flour out. Well, we're going to dredge it in flour. You'll see that here in a minute. Some butter. You got to have your capers. You got to have lots of lemon. Um, a lot of people probably don't like how many and how much lemon I put in mine, but that's how I like it. You can adjust that as you wish. Salt and pepper. Um, you need some type of chicken broth. I just use the... Um, the powder, some garlic cloves, and some cornstarch corn to um, thicken up your sauce. I'm going to cook the spaghetti first because I only have one pan over here. I've got a skillet, but one pan. And so I'm going to cook the spaghetti, pour that off, and then pour the spaghetti sauce in it and warm it up. And that's how I will do my spaghetti. I cut my lemons really thin and we're gonna cook these in the pan we're kind of in the oil and butter we'll cook them and then we'll add the sauce to it so you want these to cook and soften and I do take the seeds out because we're gonna eat them It is really, really good. I'm going to leave that to squeeze because it's getting hard to cut. But um, you actually eat the lemon rind. Have y'all ever done that? <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to try it. Eat the lemon and the lemon rind with the chicken and a little bit of spaghetti. Oh, my mouth's watering. It's so good. Like I said, a lot of people don't like a lot of lemon. I'm the opposite. The more capers and the more lemon you have, the better, I think, the chicken piccata is. If you don't like lemons, you're not going to like this recipe. Okay, let's get the chicken started. So, y'all saw me picking out this chicken. $10 or $9.58 for this organic. They didn't have the tenderloins. Uh, you saw that clip. They didn't have the tenderloins that were not organic. Add a little pepper. Is that a little? And some salt. And then I'm just going to dredge. Oh, let me mix that up a little bit. Just dredge it. In my meal plan, I said we'd probably have leftovers. So, we're not going to have leftovers, I'll tell you that. I think we can probably... Well, if you're eating a spaghetti with it, you could have leftovers. And if you had a salad, uh, you could have leftovers. But I know Deborah won't eat the spaghetti and the 
light the lemons and but not the spaghetti and the spaghetti sauce. So if we don't have leftovers, that's okay. Um, you know, on my meal plan, I showed leftovers of, of chicken veal piccata. No, not veal. Chicken piccata. But sometimes you, things change. So it's okay if things change. All right. That's good and dredged. Let's now start the oil and then I'm going to start the spaghetti. I kind of did it backwards when I said I was going to do, but I wanted to get the lemons uh, cut up and the garlic cut up. I'm just putting the spaghetti. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Like I said, Deborah won't eat it. And if we have some leftover, I want a little bit of leftover spaghetti. So I'm going to cook that. Pour the water in. I never measure. Y'all know that. So I'm going to add some oil. Butter. I cooked these last week in the air fryer and I didn't like them as well. So, going back to old fashioned, cook them in the skillet. Okay, this is when it gets fun. I got rid of a little bit of that grease. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of it. It is hot. It got a little too hot. Get rid of some of that. Alright. So, since I got rid of some of that, kind of like it was too hot a grease and it was burning so let's put a little butter in there right. now the fun part the bud lemons in there My pan does get a little too hot, so. If you do this at home, don't do that at home. Okay. 
Now, we're going to take the lemons a little bit. We'll soften up. It's like 90 degrees outside, and it's 94 degrees in here. <laughs> I'm going to turn off my air conditioner to film this in the plane. So, I'm going to turn back my air conditioner back on. Maybe we'll play a little music. Or cut off the camera, we'll see. But, I'm dying. It's so hot. Okay, that's good on the lemons. Just get them nice and softer. I'll put in the garlic. Use as much or as little as you like. And the best part. And I use a lot of the... Um, I'm, I used half of this last week with the juice. A lot of people go, oh no, they just like a little bit of capers. Nope. I like a caper or three or four in every bite. So, let that cook just a little bit. I don't know why I'm using a knife. Because <laughs> I don't want to do uh, dirty up anymore. Oh, can turn that way down. So I am made about, uh, I love a lot of sauce. So I don't want my chicken to be dry and not have all the, all the flavors in every bite. So... When I make, made this years ago, I had such a hard time coming up with the sauce. And I used to use a lot of wine in it, but I don't have to do that. Chicken broth. It's about a, uh, a cup and a half of chicken broth, so I'm going to add this and then add another cup because I used a lot. chicken broth in that first part. Bring that up. Told you I like a lot of sauce. <laughs> Bring that up to temperature and turn on the air conditioner. If you ever have this at a restaurant, they'll just take the little bit of the gravy and dredge, dredge it, dredge it over the chicken, and you're like wanting more. So this is more like a a gravy, I guess. But this is my new rendition of chicken piccata. I don't know. Maybe I need a little bit more.
That might have been a little much. Who measures? Not me. Not me. Not me. And then you just put your chicken back in there. Let it start heating back up. Ate a little piece off of that one. One thing I forgot to do was squeeze lemon juice in it. <laughs> they were under my paper towel over here. That's all right. It don't matter when you do it. There. I'm sure there's enough lemon in there. All right, now we're coming up to a boil. And my chicken are swimming in it. I would like my sauce a little thicker, but you know what? I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat, and that is good. So I'm going to turn that off. And you get some lemon and some sauce. Some more lemon, some capers. Where's that little one? the one I ate off of, I think. And a little bit of oh, skitty. A little bit of skitty. Alright. What I don't have is some garlic toast, man. That would be perfect. 